Well, basically, in the definition that Lynn mentioned, in which a memory is stored as a record of an experience in the brain. So the, to me, the, the fundamental question is, what is the nature of that record? I mean, what is the biological basis of memory storage? And the thing to realize is that no one's had any idea at all. I mean, it goes back to Plato writing about wax, writing on wax tablets as the metaphor for memory. <clears throat> and so, a hundred years ago, when scientists discovered, by looking at microscopes, that there are neurons and that there are connections between the neurons called synapses, people speculated that the changes in the strength of those connections would be the involved in the mechanism of the memory. But no one had any idea what the persistence of mechanism was. So, so just to give an example, <clears throat> um, a year from now, people in the audience may have a connection between Maurice Chevalier and Danny Kaye, the comedian, because this is his theater, and five people sitting on these cool red chairs. And so that, the memory, so they may know Maurice Chevalier, and that was probably, if they're thinking that, that's probably maybe 1,000 to 10,000 neurons firing at once in a network. And that network had never been connected with Danny Kay. And that network had never been connected with five people talking about memory for an hour and a half. But a year from now, the people in the audience might remember that. And that's because some change happened in that synaptic connections. And so basically that was the big discovery that my lab and my collaborators made uh, almost precisely five years ago, which was we discovered the first molecular mechanism for that memory storage. And what was shocking to the, pretty much the entire neuroscience community was that it was a very specific molecule. And the nature of this molecule was an enzyme. So <clears throat> hardly anyone expected that. And what an enzyme is basically, it's a, it's a type of protein that catalyzes, that helps, that promotes a chemical reaction. So what we found was that in the brain, when a connection between Maurice Chevalier and Danny Kay has been made. <clears throat> Those synapses that were already there now started making this molecule, which is called protein kinase M zeta, or PKM zeta, that was persistently doing a chemical reaction. So that was our hypothesis. So we tested that hypothesis by giving to the, an animal, experimental animal, a rat, into their hippocampus, the part of the brain that's storing for, for animals, non-human animals, storing spatial information. We can talk about that later on. So we basically taught an animal to avoid a, an area of, of space, and then waited a day, and then injected into the hippocampus of the animal this drug, which is called ZIP, for zeta inhibitory peptide. We injected this drug, ZIP, and for the first time uh, anyone has ever shown, we we're able to erase that memory. So is this, the, we have video of this, right? We have video, yep. So this is a naive animal, and we put the rat into the apparatus. That's a little LED light, that's just so we can see it. Now the shock is not on. See, that's the gray zone, that little pizza wedge. That's where the shock will be in a few minutes. So right now we put a naive animal in. It's spending most of its time on the outside of the apparatus, maybe looking through the walls, which are clear plastic. Now we turn the shock on for 10 minutes, and we turn it, it off for 10 minutes, put it in its home cage. And after eight of these 10-minute episodes, the animal has learned to avoid the shock zone. So notice that the information that's on the floor of the apparatus is useless. It, the, at, the rat has to look out into the room, and that really engages the hippocampus. 
So now a day later, we put the rat back in and we inject salt water, saline, as a control. And we're testing with the shock off. These injections are into the hippocampus, right? Yes, hippocampus on both sides. So you see the rat avoids. Shock is off, but it, it just avoided that area. Now we take another set of rats, trained them exactly the same way, waited a day, and injected zip. <laughs> no evidence of the memory be having been there. In fact, if you take a picture of the exactly the same rat when it was in its naive state before it was trained and after its memory had been erased, there's absolutely no difference in its behavior. So we can turn that off. So <coughs> is this scalable to humans in any way or does this have clinical applications that we would care about? Uh, yes. Could I erase <laughs> okay, my so wife's memory of various... <laughs> Never mind, carry on. <laughs> well, right now, it would, it would have erased all information, we all think, information. In, in your wife's brain. <laughs> right. <laughs> Can I have a minute to think about that? <laughs> no, we didn't call it Stepford drug or anything like that. <laughs> but, um, so the goal eventually is to understand how this molecule is storing memory and understanding it in real detail so that we can harness the power of this ability to erase the memory. So <coughs> let me just say, people have gone out since these five years, many of the different types, in fact, all of the different types, except for priming, all of the different types of memories from Pavlovian conditioning to spatial memories, to fear conditioning, they've all been erased by this drug and now three other different versions of different ways of inhibiting PKM zeta. So the evidence is pretty strong that this is a fundamental mechanism for the storage of memory in the brain. So to answer your question about clinical, this is a discussion here about memory, but the brain doesn't know that. <clears throat> the brain is using information storage for all sorts of things that we're not even calling memory. So for example, there's a disease called chronic neuropathic pain, which is essentially the memory of a painful incident that's happened that's set up in the spinal cord and in some unconscious areas of the, of the brain. And other researchers, not, not from my lab, have used ZIP to erase those memories in rats, in rat models of chronic neuropathic pain. So I think that's the first clinical application. And uh, late in the last few months, we've shown we can actually enhance old memories by putting more PKM zeta in, but again, using a virus. So we can't really, probably can't do that in people. But the goal of getting specific memory erasing would be to harness the potency of PKM zeta and its inhibition and that process of reconsolidation that you mentioned. So, oh, but before we do, there's one more thing that I want to show, if I could. Basically, by identifying the molecule that's essential for storage, we can now actually see a memory being stored in the brain. So if I could just show that what we call the rainbow slide. So basically, this was that saline-controlled animal. We're looking at PKM zeta. The more yellow and the more red it is, the more PKM zeta is in, there, in the brain. So this is that hippocampus little structure that we talked about. So that's an animal that uh, was naive and not trained. And here's an animal a day after its training. And all that yellow dots in there are the PKM zeta molecules that have been formed and maintained for a day. Scientists have actually gone out to m at least a month, and we see that increase. And in that la my last slide, <coughs> we can now look at real detail. This is a neuron that we've injected with a dye, and we could see that's the cell body, and that's the dendrites, and these are the 
the synaptic connections are on these little mushroom-like things coming off of the dendritic uh, shaft, and these are called spines. So we can actually, for the first time, say how many synapses are actually involved in the encoding of a memory. Here we see one right here. It's yellow, here, there. These other spines don't have PKM data. So we're actually counting the synapses in order to say how many synapses are actually storing a long-term memory. No, no one had any idea or any way of doing something like that. 